All right, Shalom Amakim. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, honey, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahushai, Ba'asham, Racha, Kodash. I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and elders, the great millstone. I'd like to say Shalom to the elect that teaches word in our true faith and sincerity. And today, I just want to title this lesson. It's only going to get worse. You know, as we get closer and closer to the perfect day, the return of our Lord Yahweh Shai, uh, we seeing the the, uh, the build up to it, the climax of the movie, so to speak. You know, and uh, everything is now intensifying. The plagues, the pestilence, war, evil. All that is intensifying, and these are the tokens our Lord told us to look for. To, to you know, to let us know that this is the time that He's going to make His return. You know, for but for these people, that's that's not um, you know, this is not good news to them. This is good news to us. Hearing these things, you know, that's taking place upon the planet Earth. Because that shows that we are at the end. Tells you what, uh, when these things begin to come to pass, then you know that your redemption is off now. So this is part of it. But it's only going to get worse for these people, man. You know, so um, this is from zeroheads.com and it reads Ammo companies say packages ship with. It's like, I'm going to read it again. Ammo companies say. Packages shipped with UPS mysteriously go missing. See? So as you can see, pretty much, uh, Elmo is going missing. So is is you know, these people throughout the country and Babylon pretty much are, you know, getting Elmo shipped to their homes. You know? Somehow, some way, they mysteriously is going missing. This all part of the plan, man. You know, this just shows that we are in that time. Why is it missing? Why you buying ammo? All this ammo offline, number one. Why you in that spirit of buying ammo? And why is it missing? See, we finna come into a time like no other, man. You know, matter of fact, let's start off with that. Let's get that real quick in the book of Daniel 12. So like in the book of Daniel, chapter 12, verse 1, it reads, And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince will stand up for the children of thy people. So it's going to get to a time where, you know, the angels is going to uh, gonna be involved in men affairs, divine intervention. You know, it tells you the Lord is going to the Lord, Yahweh Shai, he's gonna keep us from the hour of temptation. So it's gonna to have to take divine intervention. Because we come into a time where nothing carnal can deliver us. Um, you know, anything from this realm, this earthly realm, that's gonna keep our head above water when the Lord brings the overflowing scourge. It says, and there shall be a time of trouble. Such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. See, there. Because the climax of the troubles is going to be here in Babylon. America. The way it tells you that in the book of Isaiah, the 47th chapter, um, the place is going to reach its perfection here. That's why ultimately the result is the whole land will be totally desolate from the... From the uh, from, from uh, coast to coast, man. The whole land is going to be destroyed. But it's a build up. It's going to be a famine like no other. You know, the, the uh, evils, all these things are going to reach its climate of its highest degree here in America. And these people are feeling that too, as well. You know, that there's some type of trouble is coming. And their reaction, their solution is what? Buy ammo. And now you see that that 
that was that's a doctrine, that's an idea, that's an outlook. And you see it now, it's coming to no avail. You know? Cause oh, you still gotta go to the east or forward. It ain't like you can make your own bullets and you know? So it's to no avail, man. It says, and at that time, thy people shall be delivered. Everyone that shall be found written in the book, and that's concerning the elect, man. Those are the people of the Lord in this time right here. Those who Yahweh Shmuel Shai is going to remember, and it starts by the way of His word, and it's gonna it's gonna climax to you know this deliverance, man. That's the people of the Lord in this time is the elect of the nation of Israel. So going back to the article, it reads bearing arms. Reported several firearm related companies had their corporate accounts counseled by UPS. <laughs> Not only that, but some of these companies also have had packages damaged or lost while in transit to customers. See? And you don't think, you know, uh, the elites have something to do with that? You know, they sent the orders down. You know? This devil's trying to pretty much handicap you, take a, take away the, the pretty much compromise that Second Amendment. Because that's that's Esau's blessing. You know this devil gonna fight for that, man. Why oh, you got these different militia groups? It just shows everything is right on schedule, man. This is one ammunition distri distribution called company called the Gun Food. <laughs> you know this is eat might man. It says reported out of recent 18,000 rounds of ammo shipped by UPS, only 6,000 made it to the end destination. See? And you got to look at that. 8,000 and 6,000. 6, Come on, man. 18, you know. Come on now. That's only a third that made it. And that's the spirit. Only a third made it to the end destination. Just pointing that out. But the point is, uh, you know, why? Why is this happening all of a sudden in this time, this this monumental moment that we're in in time right now? Because we're about to sit, uh, witness, you know, the climax of existence, the return of our Lord. And we see the events that's leading towards that. Oh, that's why I tell you the vision is for an appointed time. And uh, when you go on to the uh, one of those words was also uh, an appointed place. So America had to be on the scene, you know, for the all this to make sense. And, you know, and we're here, man. It says Collins, who owns the Ammo's company, uh, remains suspicious that many packages he shipped via UPS have been damaged or lost. Which they ain't been damaged. They they been shipped to the you know. That's a hey, this is war talk. See this this is part of that blockade and siege. Certain supplies ain't making it to these people. Just the common folk. Cause why this devil is is going to ultimately uh, declare war on the people as well. You know. This big reset. See this is all an act of desperation. Because he understand that he have but a short time. A short time of what? A short time of rule. And so that's why the only approach he can take now, because that deception, that card has already been played. You know, his truth has settled upon a planet. So the next move is uh, the sword, man. And we seeing that. It says he said UPS had pinned the mishap on his company for not packaging the shipments. <laughs> The carrier also said he had recently filed many claims on packages not getting delivered. Let's see. Um, let me jump down. They said something about. Okay, let's see. Yeah, they said something about buying. Let's see. Um, Baron Owens pointed out that Lee Williams over at the Gun Writers Substack Ammo Lands News in the Second Amendment Foundation. See, that's his blessing. Genesis 20 sound. 27 chapter investigated journalism project has also covered this phenomenon of firearm related companies having problems with UPSC so that's not this is not a one time thing with just one company 
this is happening throughout Babylon with various companies. It's hard to say if this growing trend is an approach by the Biden administration to use corporations as weapon as a weapon <laughs> to cause as much havoc as po as possible for gun companies, or if there were UPS drivers stealing packages over the years. There have been numerous reports of UPS drivers stealing whole shipments of guns. Which come on now. That's pretty much it. But just going back, it just shows that we in crunch time, man. Everything is now intensifying, you know. So, matter of fact, because um, every time you get an article, you know, a, a news clip, video, you know, there's always some concern of evil. It's, no, it's always bad news. You don't hear no good news. Best thing you do is put it on ESPN and hear about a nigga getting traded to your favorite team. Anything else concerning reality is is nothing but bad news, man. See, that's the spirit. Walmart lays off two hundred employees. This is the book of Second sixteen, verse thirty seven. Matter of fact, I started at thirty six. Behold, the word of the Lord. It's like let me start at thirty five. Says, hear now these things and understand them, ye servants of the Lord. See, so. The Lord have, you know, showed mercy unto us and revealed his plans unto us, man. Now we're grasping the message, you know, uh, attentive to the word and understanding uh, with the Lord, with his perfect will, which ultimately is to destroy America, man. And we send the steps to it. It says, behold, the word of the Lord, receive it. Believe not the God's. Of whom the Lord spake. So yeah, and we receiving the words of Yahweh by Shemal Shah, believing in the doctrine of the report, which gives us a certain outlook on things now. That's why I said believe not the gods of whom the Lord spake, because that comes with a different mindset. See, you believe in Jesus, you you won't see how we you won't see the downfall of America. You won't see America circling the drain. You won't see the evils to come. Why? Because you looking through the lenses of this modern form of Christianity. So you don't foresee the evil. That's why you, you scripture said you pass on and are punished. You know? So that's why uh we receiving his words by believing in the report. It says, Behold, see, and that word behold is not, you know, just there to just to start off the sentence. It means to look or see. And we Matter of fact, it says, Behold, the players draw nigh and are not slack. And we witnessed that by just through the article. That it was, you know, people are ordering ammunition and they're not receiving the package, you know. And it is not just the customer complaining, the company themselves are complaining. So the middleman, who, who owns the UPS and the mail truck and all that, you know, uh, the U.S. government. They the ones that run all that. And ultimately, it's these elites, you know, coming down. Because they got to try to, uh, you know, strip as many guns as they can. Because all these, you know, all these people, they strapped up, man. These Americans from the, the old, you know, old Edomite to a damn uh, 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 a Bush Dyke, you know. Everybody got a scrap, you know, here in Babylon, the Greek. You know, you got different open carry laws. Over there in these other countries, you don't hear about, uh, you you know, they, they're not, uh, don't have those access to guns where you can go get you a $200 gun out the street. You can't do that. You you might hear about a stabbing of some shit at best. You know? <clears throat> but it says, behold, the players draw now and not slept. And we seeing uh, that the Lord is ramping things up. This, hey, this, uh, as the apostle hard coined it, the year of your how by smile shot turning up. And ain't nothing has digressed, man. It's only gotten worse. You know, when you hear about the different recalls, back then you hear a, a, a um, ground beef recall or a chicken recall. Now you're getting news and articles and reports about just the whole warehouse burning down. So you can't bounce back from that. You know? So the Lord's turning it up, man. It says, as as when a woman 
a child and the ninth month bring forth a son with two or three hours of a birth great pains compares a womb which pains when the child come forth they slack not a moment see and this is compared to the deliverance you know things are beginning to intensify within the two or three hours just the, the pretty much the moment right before the birth those great pains is coming is only going to intensify those contractions you know why it says even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth see so the Lord ain't pulling his punches man see that stiff drink of reality you drinking now is not watered down to where you can just go watch a football game and sit to be cool Monday nope it's not like that man <clears throat> reality is setting in it says and the world shall mourn and sorrow shall come upon it on every side. See, meaning there is no outlet. It's not going to be no comfort when the Lord opened the floodgates, when those deaf angels are released, you know, which they are out lurking now. But it tells you um, in the book of Sirach, 39th chapter concerning those spirits created for vengeance. And when their time is come, and we get in that, we in that time. Where these deaf angels are going to be released. And they said they're going to rejoice in the commandments. Because they was created, you know, for these certain terrible things to take place on the earth. Teeth of wild beasts, fire, hell, you know. Famine. That's an entity that's ready to hit some of you niggas, man. You know. So it's only going to get worse. So matter of fact, let's we'll end off on this in the book of Ezekiel. You are in Ezekiel 7 and verse 5. Thus said the Lord power and evil and only evil. Behold is calm. See, and this is a commandment from Yahweh by Shema Shai. And that's why you, you see uh, what it is in Jeremiah the 28th chapter. The prophets that were before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and great kingdoms of war, evil and of pestilence. So this is a commandment from Yahweh by Hashem al It says an evil and only evil. See, and that's it. Only evil. <laughs> you know? So nothing but evil. Like I said, you don't hear nothing concerning good news, concerning reality. Like I said, you can hear about a nigga getting traded to your favorite team. But that's not reality. That's bread and circus just to keep you, uh, you know, from not thinking about reality. You know, you hearing about shortages, inflation, you know, now you're hearing about different packages missing, missing of ammunition. Come on, man. It says the end is calm. The end is calm. It watch it for thee. Behold, it is calm. See, and that lets you know <clears throat> these people are not, uh, you know, foreseeing the evil because the evil waiting on you, man. Well, I said we foresee the evil out of ourselves, but the end is waiting on you because this is a point in time the Lord is, is going to head when all hell break loose, man. The Lord is going to sit up with these devil angels release. When suddenly the storehouses is gonna be found empty, when the power go out, you know, that's gonna be the end. You know, cause some people gonna die by the famine, some people gonna be dying by, you know, these different wars from the from food wars. You might die and went dissing, trying to grab the last uh, steak or whatever. You 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 know, you both had your hand on the steak, but he had the scrap on him when all hell broke loose. Up, you know. The newly created beast. It says, Behold, it is calm. And behold, once again, because we see it, the steps is going to lead to these players consuming these people, man. And it's only intensifying. And it's, we, we're in a time where everything is ripe. <clears throat> hey, the MOTB, you know? So we here. So yeah, I can I just hold it for edifying. I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, 
Ba'ashem Racha Kodash. I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect that teaches the word and all truth, faith, and sincerity. DTA by Babal. Soon. Very soon.